Hey all, today we are going to discuss about double lip. It is an developmental anomaly. So in this anomaly, basically there is a fold of excess tissue on the inner surface of mucosal aspect of the lip. So consider it as a lip. So here you can see swellings from the inner aspect of the lip, right? This is the excess tissue present on the inner aspect of the lip. So basically this is a double lip, right? This is the double lip. So it can be congenital or acquired, right? In congenital, uh, it occurs due to persistence of sulcus between pars laborosa and pars villosa or it can be acquired due to some trauma, right? So pars glabrosa is the outer part and pars villosa is the inner part. When they are not fused properly, uh, it may cause double lip, right? Persistence of a sulcus between these two structures cause double lip. Now the clinical features of double lip, it usually occurs on the upper lip, right? So basically in this diagram also you can see it is present on the upper lip, right? When the upper lip is tensed, then double lip can be seen. When the patient is uh, or the individual is at rest, right, you won't be able to see any swelling, right, any double lip. But when the patient uh, lips are tensed, you can say when the individual is smiling, you will easily appreciate double lip, right. It resembles the cupid's bow. Here you can see it resembles the cupid's bow right so it is only visible when the individual smiles right whenever the individual smiles you will be able to appreciate why double lip is important because it is associated with a syndrome which is known as Escher syndrome so in this syndrome blepharochalasis will be there double lip will be there and non-toxic thyroid goiter so a combination of these three things will cause Escher syndrome, right? That's why we should know about double lip. So what is blepharochalasis? Is drooping of, blepharochalasis is basically drooping of, drooping of tissue between the eyebrow and the edge of the upper eyelid. Between the eyebrow and the edge of upper eyelid. So basically, it is, uh, you can say it as a swollen, uh, see as it has a swollen eyelid, right? So inflammation of uh, eyelid, you can say, is blepharochalasis, right? And when it is associated with non-toxic thyroid goiter as well as double lip, then we will call it as Escher's syndrome. So the treatment of double lip is basically, there is no treatment required for double lip unless and until it is irritating. So uh, we should excise the excess tissue, right, surgically. So surgical excision should be done, right. Surgically excised for cosmetic purpose or function of speech and mastications. So that's why uh, it should be removed or function of speech or mastication, right? Thank you.